am Jenna here with Temple of Geek at Anime NYC, and I'm talking with Adam MacArthur. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm doing great. Yes. First interview of the day, ready to go. First interview of the day, first oh. interview of your life. My whole life. Yes. Adam so kindly is my first interview ever. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ask the tough questions today. Oh wait, I'm You're, not. No, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just this kidding. interview is taking a turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. so tell us a little bit about how you got started in interviewing. <laughs> Well, when I was four, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you voice Yuji, yes. Dory, and Jujutsu yes. Kaisen. Tell us a little bit about Yuji. Oh, man. Yuji is the sweetest guy ever. Uh, he loves his friends. He's kind of dumb. Um, and he goes all in without really giving it too much thought. He really just wants to take care of those around him. And, yeah, I feel very, very lucky to get to voice uh, such, a, such a good boy. He, he is the best boy, actually. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So there are so many things about Yuji that's lovable. He has so many traits that you can't help but but root for him. What are some of your favorite things about Yuji? Ooh, um, I think his loyalty to his friends. Um, that's a quality that I really admire. Um, he is he's always down. Like he's just down. <laughs> like no matter what it is. Like like uh, literally, there's a, a, a something that happens in the manga later on, uh, and they're like, yeah, yeah, you. You have to die, and he's like, "Okay, let's go." I'm, I'm down let's to go. die. I'm no. down, and it's like, "Wait, what?" You know, he just, uh, yeah, I like that. He's he's a, he's a yes man. He is the ultimate, perhaps the ultimate yes man. Yes, yes. So now, something I really love about Yuji is that he has an impact on everyone he comes across. You yeah. see it right off the bat, where Megumi asks Gojo to save him, and Gojo protects him from assassination, and then you even have, uh, you have, I my brain is like fried. Right no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, you have Nanami coming back to the Jujutsu world yeah. for Yuji. Right. What do you think it is about him that has this impact on these characters? I mean, it could be kind of like what I find refreshing about him personally, like in the world of shonen anime, is that he's not in it for himself. He's not there to be the strongest or whatever, so I think it catches everyone off guard. And even in context of like the Jujutsu world, like the like Nanami hasn't experienced somebody like that where he's just like, wait, what? You know, he's... He kind of has this innocence about him and naivety that I think people suddenly care about him, you know, or they, they like want to care about him. So right. that definitely, definitely yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Now, is there anything that you can relate to about you, G, yourself personally? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely loyal to my friends. Um, I love a good group activity. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like doing things with people. Like, if you give me the option to like go do something alone or go do something with a group of friends, I'm always choosing group of friends. Um, so yeah, so that, that's... Are you really fast and really strong? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I yeah. Feel, I had a feeling. I did, actually, I did, uh, weirdly challenge someone to a foot race last night, so... Did you win? <laughs> we didn't, we didn't, they, they, they didn't want the smoke, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they didn't want the smoke. <laughs> this is very, uh, yeah. very telling here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you could voice any other character in Jujutsu Kaisen, who would you choose? Ooh... Okay, this is not based on who I think I could fit, fit vocally at all. Right. Uh, this is purely based on a character that I love. Uh, hold on, there's a hair there on the mic. Hair. Yeah, let's get that. <laughs> yeah, that. Sorry, that was my hair. No, no, leave that in. Leave that in. This is first interview, first interview wrinkles. Um, the old hair on the mic trick. Uh, I would pick Toto. Oh, very good choice. I love Toto. I think Toto is an, an hilarious character. Um, yeah, I would be Toto. Now, now you have to give me a Toto impression. I don't know how I would be Toto. <laughs> Yuji, my brother! <laughs> it's about right. Yeah, it's yeah, very, yeah. very good, very good. That's just a copy of Xander. <laughs> now, do you, are you caught up on the manga, or do you wait for the anime to get your news? Yeah, so no, I, uh, I'm, I'm probably like eight chapters behind, but I am relatively caught up on the manga. So I've read through Shibuya and the... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, yeah, no spoilers for anyone watching, but this, this might have to be a spoiler, suck. this might have to be a spoiler section this right here. Suck. Yeah, oh yeah, spoiler section, spoiler, flash it, flash it, spoiler flash section. it. Spoiler section. What are you looking forward to be an to be animated? I mean, all of Shibuya. I think it's going to be crazy. I mean, again, if, truly, like, I'm about to say some spoilers, so please turn this off if you do not want to be spoiled. Major spoilers. Big, big time. Major spoilers. Um, I mean, Gojo Sensei. Trapped in a box. Uh, my best girl, Nobara. Oh, no. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Her, what we think might be a tragic fate. Who knows? 
Uh, so it's going to be crazy. I mean, what Yuji has to go through in this arc is going to be so fun to do. Um, uh, like in, in terms of like fun, in terms of like a challenge as an actor. Um, but yeah, it's going to be nothing but pain and sadness oh. and just difficulty. But here we are. It is. Shibuya is rough. It's yeah. rough. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's going to look great being I, animated. Listen. <laughs> Okay, unspoiler. Now you can come back if you're if you're unspoiled. Like you can come back and you can put like a wait three minutes in return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I th I think JJK season two has the potential to be like one of the best season twos of any anime. And I know obviously I'm biased, and maybe I haven't watched as much anime as like the people who watch everything. I've watched a lot of anime, but I think it has a possibility to be an amazing season two, um, just because of how much stuff our characters go through. And I think nothing pulls people into a show more than watching characters they love go through really tough stuff and how they deal with it and come out on top. I mean, arguably, Yuji is greatly affected, but even in the manga, we still see glimpses of our best boy, happy boy, um, early on, which I think is really endearing uh, and makes him even more endearing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get to Shibuya. I know. We can't wait. This is going to be airing next year, right? Yep, 2023. We don't know when, so it could be one, two months. It could be 12 months. Just stay tuned. Just, just turn on your TV and wait. <laughs> well, thank you. thank you so much, Adam. I think that wraps it up for us today here at Anime NYC. I hope that you have a great convention and enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. That was an amazing first interview. Really? Yes. 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 <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, great job. Great job. <laughs>